hi what's up how is it going today's video we are going to be looking at how to change this uh picture how to turn it into uh something stunning with the frame uh with the uh frame actually we are going to design it to the extent that we're going to take it to a photographer to print it out for us and uh, but the main real thing that we are going to do right here is to change the background then you know heading the picture you know as it should be so without further ado let's step into it the first step is to just take a look at the picture so well then zoom it all up then let's head over to our you know uh pen tool you know click on pen tool then let's stress so when you get to an area that you need to call just how to drag just like so to add a curve to that part so keep trimming hold on alt then click on this dot right here it's gonna cut that then you keep you know trimming just like so good drag to add a curve to that part keep trimming can you see how it goes just like that it doesn't have to be perfect the main thing is to really trim it so well that it look nice so Keep trimming. Drag, drag. You're almost there. You're almost done. So drag that to add a you know cut part to the area. Likewise, this area, just like so. So right now finish it all up you know here good so right now what you need to do now is to go ahead and uh, right click then uh, so when it pops up then you choose make selection now let's you know it has to be the edges has to be uh, blur so let's make it one it's okay can you see that good so what you need to do right now is to go ahead and just let's right click or better still you go ahead and it's control J on your keyboard automatically it's cut off you know that area right from how uh, right from the background so this is the background right here so we have uh, the picture independently cut out you know to another part this is it right here good so right now before we change the background what we need to do is to treat you know uh, the picture there is a little bit of stain uh, in the face so let's go ahead and just you know uh, use a what's it called S uh, spot healing brush so let's reduce that a bit with your uh, 
how to hold down on your keyboard then you right drag to make it uh, reduce or you uh, pull it out just like so if you want it to be bigger so let's pull it in just like so with your uh, alt you know uh, hold on on your keyboard so let's release our hold then try and paint on that area most definitely is going to be changed so likewise this portion right here automatically clean that area off likewise that area good this area this daughter stain right here keep you know painting on that automatically it disappears just like so good so this area good so let's go ahead and just touch uh, the color a little bit go ahead to this place go to uh, color color selection so right now let's reduce the magenta to make it look a little bit you know good that's nice it's okay so let's go ahead to image go ahead to adjust and go ahead to click on uh, what's it called levels then drag this slide a bit you know forward there you have that good it's okay good can you see the outcome of that nice so let's go ahead and uh, go over to uh, the background we pre-downloaded you know right from our freepick.com if you want to really download the very creative background go to freepick.com to download uh, background definitely you're gonna see uh, particularly this uh, image right here let's make use of this drag it into photoshop then make it bigger so when you get to the side free peak as in free f r double he p i k dot com you know then you search for interior background most definitely you're gonna see something like this it's free then you download it good let's increase the picture so let's make it you know 300 it's okay wait a while for that to initiate good zoom down so right now let's drag in the uh, what's it called the background let's make use of this good it's okay wait a while for that to the shirt good so what you needed to do is to just adjust the picture a bit right click then rasterize the layer then let's go over and just select the picture then let's make it a bit you know bigger just like so good what do i for that to initiate Wait a while for that. Good. 
so let's drag it up a bit good to make this uh, picture look real what we needed to do is to just you know let's tap uh, from the background some color so what we need to do is to just look at you know color eyedropper to sample the color right here automatically it's been you know selected right so what we needed to do is to go ahead and uh, create a new layer by holding on a shift key and control then tap on and so a dialogue pops up asking you this is a new layer then you hit ok automatically it creates you a new layer so let's go over to uh, brush this is brush right here so let's go ahead make the brush bigger click right here so let's make it a bit bigger hold out key on keyboard then you make it bigger just like so good so right now let's paint on that layer Increase the density right here, then paints. Good. So let's go ahead to this place and change the blending mode to a uh, screen. Look at screen right here. Here it is. Click on that. There you have the effect. So right now, make that a bit bolder. Good position it up good good can you see that so here we come to the uh, finish point of what we are creating so this is how to create your frame change the background then uh, do a very clean job and uh, you know uh, clean the faces and all of that so here in the finish point of the tutorial thanks for following me and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel by clicking that button below subscribe and don't forget to hit that like button so that you can benefit from what we have shared so far as always see you in the next video bye for now